But I think the big takeaway for me is this. If you kind of two extremes, one we already mentioned, if you are following some ultra healthy diet, either ostensibly healthy or actually healthy, and you have gotten up to 400 pounds and you're not losing weight currently, but you're like, I'm good. I'm eating the new way. It's great. You got a bad thing coming your way. On the other hand, if you happen to be in a position where you are of a healthy weight, you're physically active, et cetera, all the other variables we'll talk about are pretty well in line, and you are looking at a plate of nachos at a Mexican place with your friends, and they're like, eat some, and you're like, ooh, but they're kind of going to kill me because they're made of chips and those are bad. Sorry, crisps. Does that make your English Aha, feel better? Anglicizing everything. Yes, yes. Um, that's also probably the wrong move. And it's a it's the wrong move for at least two reasons. One, if in moderation and with all the other factors aligned, you eat a, some junk every now and again, it's a very difficult story to tell yourself that anything very much matters about if you eat a few chips or zero chips or even a whole, two bags of chips every now and again. The other way in which it matters is the, and this is a little bit more about how you approach food. If you approach food in a neurotic fashion, mm. um, anticipating dangers everywhere, trying to curate your lifestyle to only get the organic, vegan, superfood shit, and really worrying a lot about what goes into your body, you almost certainly will live less time than if you just didn't give a shit and ate mostly good shit, but every now and again just had 10 burritos, no, no problem. I love the idea of the stress of trying to be perfect will kill you more quickly than your imperfections. Depending on the degree of imperfection. But if you're doing a decent job and you're worrying more than that, you're just going insane. 